Welcome, folks, to another episode of the Dino Times Show. I'm your guys' host, Dakota Morgan, a friendly but podcaster, animal caretaker, dinosaur enthusiast, and all the jazz like that. I'm here joined with... That's your cue. <laughs> That's my cue. Uh, that's your cue. <laughs> I oh. told you, your intro is way too long. It's literally five seconds. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Jesus Lord. Um, here on the Dino Time Show, you know, of course, we like to go things all over scientific and do some interviews when we can with people in the paleo community, all the jazz like that. But today we're doing a review, actually, of something very interesting that came out. Prehistoric Planet. The Apple TV Plus, because everything has a plus nowadays. New TV show. It was a five-day event, actually, too, which is uh, crazy to think. Even though we only got through it in two days. Well, we did wait. We waited a couple days. We did. <laughs> we got the uh, free seven days, and then all of a sudden we're like, ah, we'll wait three days. So we did, we got it three days into it, so we wanted to give it a little bit of time so it's not just waiting day after day after day after day because that's terrible. Streaming has ruined us with that when all the seasons come out at once. But, you know, Prehistoric Planet, the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in years. For a, a documentary, especially a nature documentary, too, on dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. Like, first impressions, what did you think? Also, you didn't even say your name. Who are you? I'm the love of your life, asshole. True, true. Michaela's here. Yes. Sometimes, you know, she joins on the show, and you know, we're having that today. Prehistoric Planet, initial reactions, what do you think? I liked it. You know, it, uh, it wasn't just about dinosaurs, right? It was... No. No, it was about other prehistoric animals, which I thought was really cool, and... Mm -hmm. um. I thought it looked really nice. Like the CGI was pretty good too. John Favreau. There's just yeah. no way that it's not because of John Favreau. When we were talking about it, when we were in Los Angeles a few weeks ago, or two, three weeks ago, actually, yeah, a couple weeks ago at this point, we saw billboards on buildings, like skyscraper buildings had prehistoric planet advertisements on them. Like and a shit ton. Of them. Yeah, yeah, and a lot of like billboards in general had like a T Rex swimming, or we saw the dinosaur eye, which. By the way, if you a T Rex swimming is a perfect way to get people on the show. Perfect way. I mean, like prehistoric planet. Yeah, it looked beautiful. The most beautiful special effects I've seen on anything for prehistoric creatures. And you're right. We had dinosaurs. We had aqua uh, prehistoric aquatic creatures, and we had prehistoric flying reptiles, mm -hmm. as well as like bugs and stuff like that were included as well. Yeah, yeah a, little bit. a little bit of insects. Yeah. Um. Not. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah, there was, there was. So I, I just think that like this is the new age of walking with dinosaurs. Like prehistoric planet is the new walking with dinosaurs in a way. Well, I mean, it is technically the modern version. You said it, it was. Oh yeah. yeah, oh yeah, it's true. Oh, it's true. I mean, like we ha we've had good paleo documentaries in the past. Don't get me wrong. Of course, walking with dinosaurs. But if you watch that now, you look at like what you know as a paleo fan or a person who studies it, and you're like, hey. That's way off, but it was also like that's like twenty, thirty years old at this point on too almost. And then of course, so we had so Walker and Dinosaurs was a huge hit. Then we had Prehistoric Park, which was we've talked about here on the show before. That was a huge hit. Sea Monsters with Nigel Marvin as well too. I talked about it. Uh, prehistoric Aquatic Life. You know that was a huge hit. Uh, we've had many documentaries and such. That one talked about uh, like um. Like mammals too, like uh, the... and bugs. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And other stuff as well. So that was the nice part about it. But prehistoric planet, like the big question is, did it work? I think it did. I really do think it worked. I you gotta think it included. It, you're right. It included so much. You had feathered the Tyrannus baby T Rexes. You got to see it. One of the things I was mentioning to you is like I thought it was a certain species and I was way off on it. I heard a bunch of times yeah. I got them wrong because I'm like, oh, it's that. And they're like, oh, no, it's its cousin that looks a lot fucking like it. I'm like, oh, there were so many dinosaurs and prehistoric creatures in here that you just you don't hear about. You never yeah, hear. Yeah, well, I think when we were watching it, you kept on saying, oh, it's this. And then they would say another thing. And you're just like, what? Mm hmm. Deep cuts, deep, deep cuts of prehistoric creatures in this show. And I loved it. Like Pachyrhinosaurus, like all the prehistoric life. Like People know, of course, the Mosasaurus. Um, you also saw a bit of the new dinosaurs that are going to be in Jurassic World Dominion. You saw a little bit of those, like Dreadnoughtus, the Atrociraptor, Quetzalcoatlus. You know, you saw those new kids who are po popping thought... up. Atherosinosaurus yeah, as well. That popped up in a couple different times. You know, these feathered dinosaurs in there. You saw different biomes. I think that was really cool, too. You, you said there was a lot of, like, 
like new species, like subspecies or something that like just was discovered. Oh, Mike. Oh. Yeah. 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 No, there is. Oh, absolutely there is. So, you know, absolutely there was. Like different subspecies, like species who were discovered in the recent like two years even were on the, in that show. Brought to life. And they use different aspects of uh, real life animals as well in the coloration of the, of the prehistoric creatures. Did you notice that? Mm-hmm. Of course, we had the snow owls. We had like some desert lizards for the Albertosaurus. Like, really cool stuff. Yeah, and we saw so many different species that never get the limelight. Never get it. Mm-hmm. Of course, we did see a T-Rex and Mosasaurus and stuff like that. But, and a Triceratops. The Velociraptor. Looked good. Yeah, you said that that is historically accurate of how they actually looked, yeah, right? very, yeah. very much. The feathers, how they behaved. Uh in a desert, a by the way, too. A lot smaller, too. Yeah, they weren't always in forests and jungles. And, and by the way, those look phenomenal. Every feathered creature looked so good. So good. We had a lot of pterosaurs here in the show, too. There was a lot, a lot of pterosaurs. Mm-hmm. And we had not just a Quetzalcoatlus. I'm drawing a blank on them, but we had some at least four or five different species that never get the limelight. You know, we had that, and that goes into the biomes. What did you think? I what did, Let's go with you first. What did you think about the biomes? So like every episode is a different area. That's what I, that's what I was gonna talk about. It was like I really like how they did that with different episodes because like I got to see things that you know I wouldn't expect would be in those types of environments. Like I I was really looking forward to the Arctic animals. Mm-hmm. Though I really liked those a lot. The dinosaurs who live in the winter time that when it, yeah. the snowfall and so- yeah. Pachyrannosaurus and Albertosaurus. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A Tyrannosaur coming after him. Yeah, that was a good episode. I love Hacky Rhinosaurus. And they actually added the quills onto the design, too, because that's a hot topic debate on quills on the Ceratopsians. Hot topic. Mm-hmm. Uh, so there we had that factor about it. I, I liked it. I really did. The biomes added some new cool flavor. And I, I, we're talking about this. I realized something. Mm-hmm. This was only late Cretaceous. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Every Yeah, yeah. It was only the late Cretaceous, I believe. I might be wrong on one or two episodes, but I'm, if I think about it right, it's only the Cretaceous period. Mm, Camp Cretaceous. <laughs> oh, Camp Camp Cretaceous, still a thing. So, God, that season's going to be coming out. I expect a review on that one. But, yeah, the different biomes, you know, we actually, there was a bit of interpretation in the show, though, going on on that side. There was Carnotaurus with its arms. Oh, I loved that part <laughs> so much. Oh, I... <laughs> you tried so hard. I love that because no. I love I love the the Toro arms. I love those and the fact that they did something with that. I thought I was dreaming. I was like, "Is this actually happening?" Oh, I know, right? Yeah, it, they really did. Right, they really did some really interesting interpretations of it, like T Rex swimming out to an island with its kids and having to avoid Mosasaurus. Like that's somewhat interpretation. We know it swam, but then like the whole thing with that, the the mating. That was a thing, too, with the pterosaurs, if you remember. I cannot remember the species of it, but there was a pterosaur who was, like, mixing in with the females and blend in so the males yeah, didn't spot them. I can't remember which exact one. It wasn't, mm, it, it wasn't I a... I don't think it was a pteranodon, was it? No, it was not. No. It was not. It was one of the reindeer heads. Yeah, um, that... I feel like they got a lot of spotlight in those episodes, too. Oh, um, yeah. Especially because... They're fucking assholes. Oh, pterosaurs are always <laughs> assholes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're birds. Well, you, get to, they're flying you get to reptiles. see a lot more be... of it. I mean, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, very, very much. I, it, they're not birds. I should clarify, flying reptiles. But there, you did. You got to see a lot of interpretation mixed with, and people were knocking that. They're like, oh, there's too much interpretation. Like, it's all interpretation. They're just guessing what they were doing. Or like they're trying to show you new, clever things it's mixed like, with the science. Yeah, it's no different than what they've been doing. Oh, right? and the Dinochirus, yeah. by the way, the duck-billed dinosaur, oh, the one in the swamp. Oh yeah, that yeah. that 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 one was funny looking. Yeah, a lot yeah. of people love them. A lot of people love them. Yeah, like a lot of people love that dinosaur. It's really cool. I think it's cool. Again, it's got like all oh, like the hair getting on the fl- the mosquito factor. That's a neat factor about it too. Like if the baby, uh, this baby hadrosaurs, you know, like the mosquitoes would weigh him down, and if you can't outrun him or you can't keep moving and moving with the herd, it's gonna end up dead. Like wow, the, the hadrosaurs were a, a a big part of those they episodes were. too. There was a lot right? of hadrosaurs. In yeah, because um, they were they were the ones in the desert, right? 
had there was, every episode had a hadrosaurus. Yeah, yeah. And they were in every yeah, bio. Yeah, no, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm thinking of that episode when they were um, they were crossing the desert to get to water, and um, you saw the the waterfront with all the yeah, 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 yeah. That was an episode with them. That was also, I believe, the same episode with the Dreadnoughtus and their air sacs, which is another hot topic debate. Because it's a big thing that maybe they had air sex, and it's a whole big debate with it. And the... that part made me very uncomfortable. Oh too. yeah, it was really. It, it, it's a true nature documentary. The mating scenes make you uncomfortable. Oh my god! But I, I really do think this worked. We were filled with astonishment. Cinematography beautiful. The interpretations, some were a little weird. Of course, you know, like Carnotaurus went up, but if you sit and think about it, you're like, all right, well, that arm wasn't used for anything, so I can get behind that. So, you know, the air sacs is showing that off, so showing some of the interpretation things we never really get to see, but it is kind of believed. Uh, seeing the different biomes all in one and having David Attenborough like really going to town on it, like he was really, I love the narration in it, he did such a beautiful job. The storylines were written fantastically, very believable, very nature documentary like, and a lot of sadness. There's a lot of sad moments in that, but it's like nature. I know. I was just like, why do all the bad things happen to the babies? And you're like, because they're the first ones to go. And I'm like, but why? <laughs> Are you going to go against an adult T-Rex or go for its kid? I'm going for the kid. <laughs> like, you know, if I'm a carnivore, I'm just going to tell you that right now. I'm going to go after the babies because like, it's going to ease his prey. And that's how it was back then, too. And even the fossil evidence shows. So I honestly, I think Prehistoric Planet did a phenomenal job. It's going to be number one in the paleo documentaries for the next decade, I think. Really? You think that long? That long. You Unless think... they do another prehistoric park. <laughs> if that... they do that, that's just going to take over everything. That would be cool. But you got to bring back Nigel Marvin. Yeah, he's getting older, though. That That is true. I love that, man. I wish I could get him on the show. He's so busy anymore. He's so busy doing stuff. So, yeah, I think Prehistoric Planet worked. Make sure you guys check it out on Apple TV+. Plus. It's honestly, if you're listening to this show and you got this far into, you definitely are a big fan of dinosaurs and other prehistoric creatures. You're not going to be disappointed. You're definitely not. It's just five hours at least of your day. Or if you want to do a marathon, if you don't want to do a marathon, sit, sit down and enjoy it. You'll, I think it's well worth the price of admission. And plus, it's five days. And that's a week free on Apple TV Plus when you sign up. So, shh, just do that. <laughs> just do that. Just sneak that shit in and just cancel it. Although, we still never canceled ours, but I kind of want to watch Ted Lasso. So, here we are. And we're at the end of the episode here. Any final thoughts, Michaela? No, I I, I think we we covered everything, right? Did you think it worked? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I really like this. Part, I, the cinematography, I think you said... I remember you saying, where the fuck did they film all this shit at? Because <laughs> This it was had to be so worldwide amazing. filming. It was just a crew going on vacation and oh, just probably. filming random nature scenes. That's es- all it was. Especially with the 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 islands. Oh, That yeah. was definitely Very. really cool. Very. So if you guys like this, uh, make sure you subscribe for more Dino Times on the channel, as well as more other dinosaur content, Jurassic stuff, video games, Halo, bringing that back into the channel a little bit, and some other fun nerdy stuff as well. And I'm on Twitch, CodaRex97, Twitter at DakotaMorgan3, and Instagram at Dakota underscore Morgan97. And leave a like if you guys enjoyed this, too. Helps us out great. One last and, thing. Uh, One mm, last yeah. thing. Hold on. I'm going to tell them something. Comment down below what you liked about Prehistoric Planet. Yes. <laughs> Go ahead. Did they show a Spinosaurus in there? I can't we remember. We have no Spinosaurus. Fuck. Nobody in the Spinosaurus, which... That ca- depressing. That, that kind of makes me a little... Because I would love to see Around how they the interpreted time period, it. I don't know if anybody was there. I think they were, but I can't remember where at. K. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I can't. I don't remember. I love Spinosaurus of Death, but I'm drawing a blank on it right now. Professional as always. <laughs> Thanks everybody, and of course, folks. Remember, science is real.